Hello, in this video we will see how to add an EOS Lite to the asset management. So first you have to download the eos to cyclepy add-on from local on the Blender Artist forum. You have to download also some light directly here and you have to install it in the Blender. So when you have installed the add-on in Blender, you just have to click on import. You have new EOS lamp data. You click, you can choose for example uh, an US light. We will select this one for, and you can move the light and see the result. Okay. When you select the lamp rig, you have lamp properties here and you can change the power. As you can see, you can also change the color. You can let it uh, to the origin and now you can make your render because we will use this render for the thumbnail i launch the render i just have to wait a little and when it's okay you just have to select your rig alt j to put it to the origin of the scene Control click to select the rig and the light and click on the plus on the asset management. You can also copy the name directly. Control click, copy the name, choose image, rendered, and use the render result. Click OK. And now you have your new light, this one. As you can see, it's simple, it's fast, and you can see the result of the light directly. It's not uh, like uh, this. <laughs> you cannot see what uh, light, uh, the result of the light. Okay. So when we are okay, we can delete this one. If we want to add a light, for example, we will add this one. We can move it. Yep. Make a render. And as you can see, that's work. It's okay. It's fine. You can change the property of the light. Yep. change the saturation but you cannot duplicate this rig you have to add another rig yep. and since I selected the, the first the add-on will add the new rig directly on the selection so I can move it and I can change the power on this one and change the color. I can also add another light like this one, move it and change the color and the power. And as you can see, it's nice, it's fast and you can see the result directly.